What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing an unboxing, review, and also an installation of this Icon Motorsports AP1 front lip. For those of you who don't know, this is one of the cheapest polyurethane replica lips that you can purchase online. I got it for $41 shipped. Uh, might be a little bit more in some states because of taxing and everything like that. But that's really, really cheap. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see how it looks like. I've already taken it out of the bag. It does come with hardware and brackets. Uh, so you gotta play around with this a little bit and drill some holes to make it work. As you can see the lip, it's polyurethane. It has a little shimmery coat on it that you're gonna have to sand down and uh, apply some adhesive promoter before you paint it. But for the most part, it's really flexible, really durable. It did come in a big box and not folded like most people um, said online they bought like a replica one on eBay and it came folded. Now in this case this one came in a big box which is nice. Um, here are the ends. Pretty solid all the way through. It's pretty thick. About a quarter inch thick. I did drill some holes right there right in the middle of the arch for installation. So you might have to bore it out a little bit or maybe not. Uh, just depends on where the holes are on the factory AP1 lip. And um, also underneath see there there are some holes in there already for the bracket which is nice so you just gotta install your brackets into that and then drill into the bumper it should be okay the only thing I have to say is that I'm pretty sure because of how thick this little corner is right here I'm gonna have to sand down a lot more and what they told me during the curing process or with the heat that gets applied to this it shrinks over time uh, so if you get a batch that's really really wavy you can just leave it outside in the Sun for a day and it should kind of like mellow out or just take a heat gun and flex it back um, the way that you want it to go. Now I already went ahead and test fit this and I know for a fact that one side flares out a lot on the edge of the bumper. So what I'm going to do is actually just sand these down a lot, a lot more on both sides and we're going to try to install it again. Hopefully there won't be too much of a pull and if everything checks out uh, it should be ready to paint. All right, so I was able to sand down both sides and make it as smooth and flat as possible. So it, right here and over here, it's about the same um, thickness as well as the mounting point um, under here on the top part. It was kind of thick, so I kind of just sanded it flat a little more to make it flush with this part. I don't know how well it's gonna fit. I'm pretty sure it's gonna bow out some more, but we're gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna put one screw on one side and then try to flex it onto the other side and hopefully this install goes pretty well. Um, I know the main problem is the passenger side. It's, it's the one that has the most flex. So we're gonna put the passenger side on first and then we're gonna do the driver's side after. All right guys, so first impressions, it looks pretty good. It fits 99%, I would say, maybe 98 if you want to get technical. The only problem is it's still pulling on the corners here, and I'll bring that in afterwards, but it's pulling on the edges so that the bottom part or the middle part sags underneath. Um, but if you were to pull it up like this, underneath here, sitting underneath the bumper so all you have to really do is just um, use the brackets that they have or you can use your own um, nut and bolt and washer system stick it in there tighten it up real nice underneath the bumper and it should hold 100% it won't fall off at all you can also go to an extent and get the OEM Honda weather strip and cover up these gaps but like I said it does flare a little bit on the sides but you can't go wrong it's 40 something dollars I mean Icon Motorsport did a pretty good job on this. I'm pretty happy with the fitment. Uh, I think what I have to do next is just go ahead and buy the paints. I'm gonna go to a local store and pick up the aerosol can. It has the paint and clear coat in one uh, spray bottle so it'll save me some money and time on that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the brackets underneath the bumper uh, just to hold it for the time being 
and put the other screws on the side. I only have one screw per side, but it fits really, really nice. All right, as you can see, here it is on the driver's side. It's just a little bit of gap right there. Not that noticeable. It's not that bad, but you can see how flush it sits and hugs on the bumper. It looks really phenomenal for the price, like I said. And it's polyurethane, so it's pretty much indestructible. This right here is the only part I can argue with. It doesn't fit that nice. And that's a pretty noticeable gap. So only way for me to get that to fit perfect is to super, super heat this thing up and pull it over and rapidly cool it down to get this shaped to look a little better. But I don't want to, I don't really care to. I love the lip. It's a cheap alternative to clean up the front end a little bit. OEM costs way too much even if you can find one brand new or used. So this is a great alternative for those who are trying to modify the AP1 S2000 on a budget. Uh, all I have to do now is just paint it. Looks really nice in there. Here's another angle. So there you go guys. For those who are interested in purchasing this, I'll put the link below. It is from Icon Motorsports. I purchased a wall replica spoiler from them from my Lexus ISF and it fits 99% as well. And it's a very cheap alternative. Like I said, polyurethane for that price that they're offering shipped. You can't beat it. And uh, yeah, I wanna say thank you for sending it to me. And I hope you guys have an insight of what it actually looks like and how it fits. Very easy to install, makes it easier if you have two people. But when it comes down to mounting underneath, Take your time, measure twice, drill once, or measure five times and drill once. Because you don't want to get the holes off because this is going to be what the main support is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more S2000 videos on this channel. So please check the playlist or the rest of the channel if you want to watch more videos. And I'll see you guys on the next project.